Hello! Welcome to my channel. I'm Christina from stylishknitting.com and in today's video I want to show you the Italian cast on method. It is great for ribbing one by one, two by two and it gives very stretchy but stable edge and it looks very neat and professional. So let's get into it. <laughs> So we grab our needles and the yarn. Um, this cast on method, it will leave a yarn tail. So leave it as the same length you would leave for long tail cast on. So approximately three times longer than desired length of your cast on. I will leave just some for demonstration purpose. And I have the yarn around my index finger and my thumb, just like that. What I do next, I just make a twist with the yarn between my fingers. It will look like this. And uh, what I want you to remember is that you will have to look which of these strands are coming on the bottom or which one it is on the top because it will be very important um, if you will get confused which uh, stitch to make the next so pay attention to this I'm just paying uh, attention to this because that's how I learn not to get confused or which way to go so now I see that yarn around my index finger is on the bottom so I know I need to go from this way um, and grab the yarn which is on the top so what I do I go this time uh, under both strands I grab the yarn around my thumb from underneath and I come back in the middle and there you go this is my second cast on stitch now I see that around my thumb the yarn comes on the bottom so I know the next move will be from this side where the yarn lie when the yarn lies underneath so I go under this yarn I come out in the middle and I grab this yarn around my index finger and I come back from underneath up just like that now I have three cast and stitches on my needle as you can see they are different one has this little bump I want to show you maybe closer and one has this little bump and this doesn't so in on this cast on um, method uh, it will resemble a pearl stitch this will resemble a knit stitch because they look like that so next one i'll have to do this pearl cast on stitch and as i said before in order not to get confused which way to go so i see this yarn around my index finger is underneath so I know I need to go from this side and I go under both strands I come in the middle I sort of grab this yarn around my thumb and I come out this is how this uh, bump is made and now there will be another knit stitch uh, this yarn around my thumb is underneath so I need I need I know I need to go from this side in the middle grab the yarn coming around my index finger coming back and I have my knit cast on stitch now I go other way around and make a pearl stitch middle 
Come on, this is my pearl stitch. In order to uh, remember this custom method, it looks very complicated, but um, just take your knitting needles and just follow me and your hands later will get used to it and later you will be able to do it very quickly. I will cast on some more stitches because um, I want to show you what to do next and I want to join this uh, cast on in the round so I will cast on some more stitches and I will show you also what to do if you want to knit with this cast on method in the round so I just do some more cast on stitches go under And when I'm finished, I just secure the stitches with normal like, slip knot. The normal way you would cast on long tail cast on. So now I turn I turn my work and I will continue with one by one ribbing. For this Normally, I just slip the first stitch. I just slip the first stitch. And now I can see that this is uh, the cast on stitch with the bump in front. So this will be a pearl stitch. So I'm purling it basically. And this is a knit stitch. And this is a pearl. And like that I continue until the end and I will show you um, the knitting in the round um, I don't advise you to join in the round immediately after you make this cast on because it um, has uh, the tendency to twist around the knitting needle and um, you don't want that uh, for the small amount of stitches, maybe it's not so crucial, but if you will have, for example, 100, 150 and 200 custom stitches on the needle and then you join them in the round, it will be very, very difficult to make them lined up correctly. So in this case, I just advise you to knit two rows will be enough of the rib for example one by one and then join it in the round and after you finish your garment or you work some rows you just nicely close the gap together I will show you what I mean I just need a few more rows and I will be back when I'll be ready to join them in the round. I have done my two rows of one by one ribbing and in flat knitting it would look like this if you would do some more rows you would end up with edge looking like this and as you can tell here it's also already you can see how nicely it looks. But now let's connect it in the round. For this, I have a circle of needles. I just do simple, I just divide it approximately into halves. And I simply, I, I really just simply join them in the round just by looking so they don't twist, the edge don't twist. I take both like this, side by side, the needles, and I see they are not twisted, so I'm ready to go. I need to do like this way, yeah, so it's lined up correctly. So, yeah, and I just simply just 
still looking careful. You see, that's what I'm talking to need some more rows because it will be easier to see if it's twisted and not. And imagine if you have like long, long cast on and it would be very, very difficult not to twist them. I tried once, but I never want to do it again. So I do like this. And then I just continue just simply. I just knit the next stitch. And I just follow the pattern. And you just continue knitting in the round and I will show you how to close the gap after we knitted some rows up. So I finished knitting in the round with Italian custom. I did some more rows up and here is our gap after we joined knitting in the round and I will show you how I would close this gap. I will need my to take my darning needle. I take the yarn tail but I would look um, Yeah, this will be just pretty straightforward. Um, I would find this little loop here and um, I would go from back to front. It's always a little bit also like um, I just make a stitch and I see does it look good. If it looks good then it's okay. And now I would want to come out on the other side looks pretty good and I would finish off uh, somehow grabbing here maybe going under nearest stitch Again. and then I would fasten off to secure the end of course fast enough okay. and you would not see where you would join the round So this was Italian castor knitting in the round and also flat. In my next video I will show you how to make custom edge like this with ribbing 2x2 two two. and also will show you how to do it in the round. It will use the same Italian castor but the first two rows will be a little bit different. So watch my next video and I see you later. Thanks for watching. Please press like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will see you next time.